up y'all welcome to game day here at heavy cardboard teach play and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games war games 18xx i am your host edward euler happy to be joined by some very good friends of mine as you guys can see let's see if i can point in the right direction i did there i'm ken ariel andrew all right so tonight uh by request of the herd we are busting out chicago express uh Designed by John Bohr, published by Winsome Games, also published, republished, I guess, as uh, as uh, Chicago Express from Queen Games, and we are playing the Queen Games version, which is um, the the board is artworky, uh, as opposed to the original Winsome, which is far cleaner. Uh, there's a lot going on on this board, artwork wise. Um, but it's, it's a Queen Games version of a Winsome game. So welcome, everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. Hopefully it should be a good time. All of us have played it. Full disclosure, I haven't played Chicago Express in a couple of years, in all seriousness. Um, but everybody here has played it at least a couple times, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy the, the stream tonight, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Support the show over on PledgeHC.com. Certainly would appreciate it. Uh, should be a rather rather brisk game. Uh, it's not a terribly long game, but uh, it's it's what it makes what it doesn't have in length that makes up for in depth. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more than meets the eye at first blush on this one. So, fellas, if y'all are ready, and if everybody at home is ready, let's go and get into shall we? Chicago. Express. So here we go. The setting we have. America's industrial boom would have been unthinkable without the railroads. It was only possible to open up this huge country by transporting the necessary materials over long distances. The industrial development of North America is therefore synonymous with the expansion of the railroad networks of individual companies, many of which were founded at the time with the help of investors who help put up the necessary capital. Names such as Cornelius Vanderbilt and Charles Morgan bear witness to this period, but the financing of the railroad was not the only thing these uh, investors had in mind. The most important goal of all was to make as much profit as possible. All right, so what is it we're looking at here? Well, there are four, well, there will be eventually five companies within this or in the scope of the game and give me just one second i want to make sure i boost everybody's audio a bit to make sure that y'all can hear them there we go all right all that set up better all right so as i was saying there are five company uh charters out here we have the pen we have the bno we have the chesapeake we have the nyc and we have the wabash railroad company now, only four of these companies are available at the start of the game, and they are the four that are over here. The Wabash will not come into play until we have reached Chicago out there, and it will start there in, uh, in Fort Wayne. The other four companies will be starting in their home spots, as you can see out there. Now, in addition to the company charters, we obviously have the map of kind of the northeast area, kind of, of America. And then we're going to, uh, covered in hexes, and there are a number of different types of hexes. We'll go over that in detail. We have the income track for the various companies uh, down here at the bottom and the right side. Then we have the development tracks for the three industrial cities right here. And then we have some uh, dials that are going to track the actions that we take throughout the game which I'll cover those more in detail. And then over here, we have each of our portfolios, which will match up with our, with our, uh, our cameras here when we get started. So that's pretty much what you're looking at. Now, each of these charters have a certain uh, asymmetric number of railroad 
uh, tracks, if you will, or individual uh, locomotives that represent track and the expansion of the various railroads. So as you can see, the Wabash has 11, the NYC has 23, then the Chesapeake, uh, the CNO has 25, the BNO has 21, and the Penn has 19. Now, not only are they asymmetric as far as the number of tracks they can lay throughout the game, the number of shares, because this is an investment game, is going to be different for the number of, or for the various companies. So it goes two, three, four, five, uh, check that, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so that's everything we're looking at, but what's the goal of the game? Well, I'll actually cover what it is, what it says here in the rule book. As investors in the economy of late 19th century America, the players try to make as much profit as possible in the thriving railroad sector. They use their money to acquire shares in railroad companies so that they can influence their development and earn money through the dividends that are paid out during the game. Each railroad company generates an income, which is distributed completely among the shareholders, i.e. us, in the form of dividends during the dividend phase. The income of a company can be increased in two ways, by either connecting up new city and mountain hexes, cities being the named hexes out here, and mountain hexes are exactly as you would think, the mountain hexes out there. So, connecting either new city or mountain hexes to a route, or a route network or by developing those hexes already connected to a route network. Each railroad company receives the necessary capital essentially by selling shares to the players, i.e. the investors. Only the player who has invested wisely and expanded the right companies is likely to receive the highest dividends and the player with the most cash wins. So we're going to be investing in these shares in the various companies, but in the end, the shares aren't worth anything. They were merely a tool. The only thing that's going to matter is cold, hard cash in this game, all right? So, the game takes place over a series of rounds, an indeterminate number of rounds, beginning with whoever is the starting player, and then they're going to choose an action, and then of those three actions, they're either going to choose to carry out that action or to just basically move the dial to make it to where it's one less of those actions available in a given round. After a certain number of actions, we're going to be interrupted by dividend phases, and the various actions that we can choose are auctioning a share, expanding the railroads, or developing of a hex or an industrial city, all right? So let's take a look at these dials over here. Now, each of these dials has an asymmetric number of, uh, of, of segments, if you will. So whenever we choose to expand a, a company's uh, or a, a railroad's network, we're going to just move this no. over one space until it reaches the red. When it reaches the red, no other player can choose that action. So you'll notice that there are a total of five actions available on that one. We have four here and three for the auctioning. If at the beginning of a player's turn, two of the dials are in the red section, we're going to have a dividend phase in which we're going to all get paid, theoretically at least, and then rinse and repeat until one of the four end game conditions is met. So the four end game conditions are three or more of the companies have run out of trains, i.e. they've laid all their track, or three or more of the companies have sold all of their shares to the players, or there are three or fewer development houses left, i.e. we've developed a bunch of these cities as well as uh, mountain hexes out there, or if Detroit's income makes it to eight, and I'll, I'll cover that more in detail. Now, when that happens, we continue playing until the next dividend uh, phase is called, we pay out dividends, and the game is ended, or game ends, whoever has the most cash wins. All right, so now that we've gone over that, like I said, the game takes place over a series of actions and rounds. A round is determined by whenever two of the dials are in the red section. So on a player's turn, you have three actions or three options, auction, expand, or develop. 
So auctioning is very, very simple. And if you're familiar with most any kind of auction game, you're going to be familiar with this. There's going to be a minimum bid, and we'll cover that when we actually get into the actual game, but there's going to be a minimum bid. Then we're just going to go in the order, clockwise, or the order that it says here at the bottom of the screen. So it's going to go clockwise. You either up the bid or you drop out. Whoever is the last player standing pays that money to the company charter because that company is then going to use that money to build track later on. So pretty simple. Any questions about auctioning? Okay, nope. good. Moving on. All right. Expanding a railroad's company uh, or its route, if you will. All right. To be able to do so, you're allowed to, you must be an investor of that company first and foremost. So if you own a share of that company, you may expand that company. You're allowed to expand a maximum of three hexes and it must trace back to its home city. So for instance, if I owned a share of the CNO and I wanted to expand it, I would have to expand it. It can always branch out, but it must always be able to trace a route back to its home station. All right. The cost is, and I will show you guys this here in detail a little bit. So you see that each of these hexes over here have a different number associated with it. The easiest way to describe it is the red number in the train on each hex times the number of companies that are already on that hex. So it'd be $2 dollars etc cetera, etc cetera. if there was already a company in this hex then it would be two times well there would be two say blue was already here yellow wants to expand in it there are now two in there that would be a total cost of four dollars from the company coffers now it if the company can't afford to expand it can't afford to expand so it cannot do that okay all right uh, when you do that, you're going to increase the income value. So whatever the number is, whenever you expand into a city, whatever the, uh, the number inside the train, you will expand or you will up the income value. So for instance, if we expanded into say this city right here, that would be a income bump of two for whatever, uh, company went into it. So if yellow expanded into it, yellow's income would then bump up two spaces, so on and so forth there, all right? If it is an industrial city, and let's go ahead and let's find a good one for an example. We will do wheeling, I think that will work. So whenever we expand, say, into wheeling here, you'll notice that A, it's a gray city here, but also it has this little plus marker on that. Well, we're going to look here and we're going to expand for wheeling up, sorry, that's development, I apologize. Uh, lost my train of thought. Yeah, increase the position on the house on, on the city track. I'm right, we do, we, we bump that up. And uh, increase the income, sorry, for that company for expanding into the industrial city. Easy enough. Now, when you develop, in uh, when you, uh, sorry, when you expand, only one company is allowed in each forest and mountain hex. So the forests and mountain hexes, only one company can ever be in those hexes. All the other hexes can have multiple companies in them. You can only have uh, one company's hex. Check that. You can only have one company's a single locomotive of each company in a given hex. You can't have multiple uh, of the same company is what I'm trying to say. Whew, words. All right, so you pay the cost from the company charter, increase the income marker based on the value of the hex that you just expanded into. And if any company expands into Chicago, we're going to have a Chicago phase, all right, which I will talk about here in a little bit. Other than that, that's pretty much it for expansion. Remember, it's a max of three hexes and the company must be able to afford it. And you must be an investor in that company. Any questions on expansion? Nope. All right, moving on to development. Development allows an occupied hex to place a house on it. So 
if they're getting back to this example here. And let's say we want to expand here in Richmond. I'm sorry, to develop in Richmond. The cost, the, there is no development cost. We're just going to move the little marker to say that you've taken that development action. You can do so on any uh, non-forest tax. That's going to raise the income of all the companies present. All right. So, for instance, if we develop, say, right here, every company that is in Richmond is going to increase their income given by what the HEX itself says. So let me go ahead and move that over and show you guys this. So you'll notice here that it says if you develop, it's going to be a plus one for every company that's in there. Pretty simple. Now you'll notice that forest taxes have a dollar sign. You can develop forest taxes, but when you do so, the company actually profits $2 into its coffers. But that's it. Its income doesn't go up, but it gains some money for liquidity to be able to expand its railroad uh, route. All right. So, uh, like I said, at least one locomotive must be present to be able to develop. And you do not have to be an investor to develop. So, for instance, if, say... Uh, Ken did not have a share of the CNO, but wants to develop here in Richmond, he is free to do so if he so desires. All right. Now, Detroit cannot be developed by players, but uh, Detroit's developed automatically after each dividend phase. And we'll talk about that more here in a little bit. Only industrial hexes can be developed more than once. Could note the track that is down here. When a track is pegged out at its highest number, it cannot go up any higher. All right. Uh, and also um, only once per action per development. So you can only develop one hex on a given turn in a given action. All right. Any questions on developing? No. Nope. All right. Dividends. So, as I mentioned, when a player's turn starts and two of the dials are in the red phase, we're going to have a dividend phase. So what happens? Well, the bank's going to pay dividends to the shares of all, all the owners. And we're going to take that number, divide by the number of shares that are owned by all the players, round up, and pay out that money for all the companies. Pretty simple. Then we're going to reset all the dials. We're going to check and see if the game uh, can end game condition is met. And if so, then we will go until there is a uh, one more dividends phase and then continue and move on. We also advance the Detroit track one, because remember when it hit, hits eight, that's one of the end game triggers. Last thing to talk about is the Chicago phase. After the completion of an expansion that builds into Chicago, we're going to have an, a Chicago phase. What happens then is the shareholders of the company that expanded into Chicago receives an extra dividend, just like we just had a dividend phase. So if yellow expands into Chicago, all the uh, players who own yellow shares will get whatever that is divided by the number of shares. And then if it's the first company to expand into Chicago, that's going to trigger the opening of the Wabash. The first train will go into Fort Wayne there, and then we will have an initial. Uh, we will have an initial um, auction, auction for for the Wabash uh, for one of the shares, and then after that, it's just like any other company. But it does not happen until the first company uh, expands into Chicago. That's it. Like I said, the game ends after the following dividend phase ends. After the end game's been triggered, the four game end conditions are three companies run out of locos, three companies or more run out of shares, three or four, or three or fewer houses are left. Detroit's income is at eight. Do dividends one more time. Whoever has the most money wins. Any questions? No? Good. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, cool. So we will, it's supposed to, it, it says that the banker is supposed to be the first player and the shares that go up for auction are in this order. So we, everybody starts 
It's $120 divided by the number of players. So there's four players. So there is $30 a piece. Let me bring up the cameras. And probably my camera would be good. There we go. Hey, all right, cool. All right, cool. Good. All right. So let me move that out of the way. Welcome, everybody. Uh, place your bets now over under on Glory to Rome's with this group. Hey, so Edward, there's some very loud, like, snow removal thing happening behind me, so I'm going to stay on mute unless I need to talk. Okay, all right. I apologize. No, you're fine. Uh, I Oh, for those that don't know, we got hammered. We somewhere, got a lot of snow. Yeah, we got somewhere some around, snow yesterday. like, 15 inches, give or take a little bit. It's, yeah. Yeah, we got hammered. It sounds like they're sucking away, like, every last drop of it on my streets. So. <laughs> hey, it's snow removal. There's something to be said for that. Um, right. All right, so we'll, we'll do it this way. Andrew, Ariel, Ken, and me. I'll be green for, for this example here. And we'll just randomize to see who, uh, who starts the auction. Over, oh, by the way, over under five and a half for the Glory to Realms. All right, blue. So that's going to be Ariel that actually starts the auction. All right. So we're going to have a share of the pen up. The minimum bid for this is going to be $7. Um, um, I'll go nine. Okay. Now, you don't always want to necessarily get it for the least amount because it has to be able to lay track, right? So, uh, Ken, so yeah, we're just going to do it in camera order here. Make it work that way. Let's see. Nine, hey. huh? I'll go 10. I'll go 11. Uh, I'll say 12. <coughs> oh. I appreciate that, Corey. He likes that everybody's money is next to each other. It's going to kill me for Andrews because that's a long reach, but that's okay. Is it 12 right now? Uh, let's see. Um, he started 8, 9, 10, 11. Current, current I said bid? 12. Oh, Ariel said 12. Sorry. Yeah, Andrew's at 12. Andrew's so at 12. Like I, need either, I feel like this bid is either 15 or pass, and I think I guess I'm going to pass. <sighs> mm. I too shall pass. All right. So that's it. All right. So Andrew for 12. So a moment. That'll be, uh, let's see, eight back. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that works. It's not perfect, but that works. Um, so the winner of the previous auction begins the auction for the next company, which is going to be the B&O. And I believe, let me double check for the minimum bids on these for the start. It's whatever the starting share price is. I think that one's six. Okay. Yep. Six. Okay. Uh, yep, it's six five eight going forward. You're right. I'll say seven. Uh, nine. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Uh, I'll go ten. Yeah, probably out of. Um. I'll go 12. I'll pass. I mean, I think you have to pass. No, he's got, oh, no, got, no, he's he's got a 10 there. Yeah, no, he's price. got 18. <laughs> how, how do we let you get away with that much money after that first day? I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bad idea. I'll, I'll pass, too. And Ken? We just make a deal that everybody gets their first one for twelve. Is that? Don't it? let him have it, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> uh, I'd rather pay fifteen for that other one for than thirteen for this one. I think, Andrew. I will also pass. All right. So that's going to be twelve here. So that'll be eight back. So the peanut gallery also needs to help make sure that I'm adjusting uh, income track as we develop and and do all of those things as well. So. 
All right, so I am starting here at, so let's see, um, we'll go and start that at nine for the CNO. I mean, it's yellow. You know what, it's a winning bid, I'll go with 12. Uh. Done for bidding more than I passed on the more lucrative shares before. I'll go 13. I pass. I pass. Hmm. I'll go 14. I'll pass. Okay, 14. So. And yeah, this, this does seem apropos considering Andrew is always the one with the longest reach since he's the disembodied voice so often. So I suppose this is Andrew's payback and he didn't even realize it. All right. Uh, so then we will go the pen and the pen is at eight for a minimum bid, which uh, he cannot do. Oh, right. Right. So. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. just the pass. Right. Yeah. Yep. So I pass. Uh, 12. I think I can go, I can go 14 on this one. 15. Pass. Well, it's so fun if we both have $30 to start, Ariel. Yeah, it makes it less, uh, less appealing. <laughs> so so first glory to rome <laughs> and, and second I, i'll go 16. it's yours that sucked all right so four All right, so that is the initial auction done. So now we begin the game. Everything is at the green uh, here. Whoever won the pen starts. Uh, oh, God, I just realized I'm screwing this up. Real quick, uh, so we got 12, 12. I should have been putting the money over oh, here. Right, yeah. Oh, oops, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. 12, 12, 16, I know that. And what was the uh, CNO? 14. 14, right? Yeah. So there and ugh. all right. Hey, at least we caught it now. It's all that matters. Yep. All right. And yes, I love the idea, by the way, of getting elephant trunk like a croupier. That's that's a great idea. All right. So that's the money that are in the company coffers. So now Andrew begins because he started with the pen and we just go in this order, either auction a share, you can uh, expand or develop, but you can't develop home stations. So honestly, that action's not available to Andrew. So it is your oyster, Andrew. Uh, I don't have a lot of money. I don't feel like auction share is super valuable, so. I have the map Not set up over you. here, by the way, which is why I'm looking this way. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, that's, you know what? I I assume you're going to be expanding. So there you go. Since you have uh, the pen and the CNO, those are those are pretty much. Yeah. If uh, that helps. Let's, we'll expand the pen, I think, towards okay. Harrisburg. Towards Harrisburg, which is going to be over this direction there. So, yeah. are you doing all three? Yeah. So it's all right. cost four bucks. Yep. So a buck for that one, as you can see, a buck for that one, and then as you can see, two bucks for that. So let's go ahead and do that. And my OCD self. There we go. All right. So it's going to be four bucks out of the company charter or out of the company coffers. 
That's now at eight. Oh, getting a good stretch. All right. Income and up by, income up by one, yeah. And there, and because, actually, let's go and, yeah, walk through this yeah. at the beginning, you'll notice that it has a plus one right there. So therefore, red income goes up by one. And we'll do like so. There we go. And we move this, that is one less available action now, uh, there. So now, Ariel, obviously you cannot expand because you don't own any shares. Uh, you cannot develop. I lied. You can develop because Harrisburg is potentially available or more than likely can probably auction. I can spend an action if I wanted to even without it. You can. Uh, to be clear, he could say I'm going to expand and just waste the action, i.e. don't take the action. So that is I, true. I'll, I'll auction uh, red. Okay. All right. So we have one of the pens leaving one remaining. Uh, minimum bid will be eight because that's the current value of it, I believe. I think you divide it by the shares. By the number of shares, point. right? Including that one. So I stand corrected. Yeah. So there's one share there. This is technically the second share available. It's at eight. Divide that. It's going to be a minimum bid of four. That's right. Thank you. That's all about 14. Um, so you get it for 14. Okay. <laughs> Because no one, oh, uh, I guess I you could. You the money. Could not. You could bid him. Yeah, you could bid it up. Huh. It's yours for 14. Uh, yes. Yeah, I want more money. <laughs> All right. So that is here. And I've already moved that. We are done. Ken. Um, make sure you put the money into the coffers also. Thank you. I keep doing that. All right, that was it. It is pen. very so important for the pen yep. survival. Yeah, there we go. I should remember, don't touch is, the bank. Yeah. There's already been an auction, and there's still two players with more money than me. I'm not sure <laughs> I did things right on that uh, on that opening round. <laughs> uh, so uh, I will uh, I will build track with the central. Uh, all right. So straight, the CNO. North. 12 o'clock from the, from the opening spot up to Albany. Um, oh, no, I'm no, no, sorry. Oh, CEO, you, oh, Central. oh, yeah, oh, 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 the NYC. Sorry. Yeah. That is that one up there going all, straight to Albany. So it's going to be yeah. four bucks out. Okay. Sorry about that. There. And that will be right. Yeah. It's only green. I am green. remembering correctly that we can only make the maximum number of, of track I can build is three, right? Correct. In a single action, you are correct. And green will increase by one and one action for expanding. <clears throat> Done. All right. So for yours truly, um, I mean, I feel like the smart thing is to go over to Martinsburg, right? Yeah, I think we will. So we will go ahead and expand. So it's going to be. Coming over and we will go and quick reminder, unlimited companies can be in these only one company and only one company. Okay. Just as a quick reminder, um, I think we will go ahead and go right there. So that will be four bucks out of here. And blue goes up one. I already moved that done. Back to Andrew. I'm going to expand track again. I think I'll do it. Hmm. I'll do it for the CNO for yellow. OK. Um, we'll go along the southern border. So uh, yeah, to Richmond and then one space beyond. Right there? Yeah. OK, so it'd be a total of four out of the coffers. And there's that. One. And notice also Richmond has a bump of two for the CNO. Right there. So, all right. So that's going to be two there. And or remove that. Done. Ariel. 
Uh, I'll auction. What do I want on an auction? I'm going to go green. Okay, so an auction. And there's going to be an NYC put up. So this will be the second NYC there. NYC is currently at nine. So half of that is four and a half round up, which is going to be a minimum bid of five. I'll go 14. I must pass, so. Man. Uh. I'll go 15. I pass. Maybe a mistake, but... All right, so that was Ariel's turn. Ken. I will also auction. All right, and this will be the last auction until we have a dividend since we are now in the red. I'll put up a red, I'll put up the final red. All right. 14. I'll take it for 15. <laughs> All right, so to be clear, there are now three shares. Red is at eight divided by three, so it'd be a $4 minimum bid, but sounds like 15. There. And there. All right. So now I could force dividends to happen, or do I develop? Developing would get me an extra buck. Problem is, Andrew only ha has the, the PRR and the CNO. And in fact, if I don't trigger it, these guys, one of them will be able to expand. He'll, so Andrew will probably expand the CNO, which will get him more money by himself. So I think it makes more sense for me to expand. I think so. So we will expand, okay? Which will trigger dividends at the beginning of Andrew's turn. And I have a total of eight, so it'd be two, four, that would be six to make it into Clarksburg. Or, whoo, that's a big mountain there just below Altona, Altoona, sorry. Um, I don't think that makes sense. I think it makes sense to go... Hmm. So, what I'm debating is... This would put money into the company coffers, but that's really expensive. But boosting the value of the company makes more sense, I think. So I think we will. We'll go two, four, six. Leaving two bucks in the company. So that's what we'll do. So there's six. And we will go one, two, three. And that's going to be a bump of one, two, three for blue from seven to ten. All right. Now, we will have dividends. So, uh, we'll just do it in order of the companies. Uh, or I guess, actually, it makes more sense to do it this way. So, blue, how many shares are there out? There's one share. Divide by one, ten. Ten bucks. Green. Green has a total of two shares out. Green is at uh, nine, which half of that is four and a half rounds up. That'll be five apiece. Five, five. Uh, red 
has a total of three shares out, three shares at eight. So three divided, uh, that'd be $3 a share. So that'll be six and three and two back. And finally, yellow has one share, which will be a total of seven. There we go. So that's dividends. So uh, no in-game conditions met. Reset all of these back to green, even if they weren't. So even if develop was like, say, there, that would still reset. And then uh, advance the Detroit Rock City marker one. Boom. Done. Andrew, take your turn, good sir. All right, let's do an auction All right. uh, for blue. And one, two shares out, five bucks minimum bid. Uh, we'll go 14. And you know what? I'm going to, is that okay for everybody at home? So that, uh, I mean, I realize that it makes it easy. Uh, 14, you said. Hmm. Ariel? Oh, never mind. Sorry, not rubbing it in. Sorry, only seven bucks. And while uh, you're thinking, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I wish I liked Blue's position a little bit better. 14 doesn't seem like a bad price. It was the price <sighs> I could afford. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my position so much right now. I'll go 15. Uh, I can't. Ah, it's yours for 15. So, 15 into blue. A moment, let me clean that up a little. There's four. 15 into blue. All right, there we go. And, hey, Drew uh, says, uh, I took your advice yesterday. Talked to my wife and had a Vinos in my cart two minutes later. So, uh, during the Ask the Elephant, I asked... Uh, how do you get uh, your, you know, somebody into games, uh, a VTOL game? I said, ask what, what theme interests them most and buy that. So that, that's apparently what happened. There you go. Well done. Cool. Good deal. All right. My turn. Um, Wait. No, it's Ariel's turn, right? Because I did the auction. Oh, you, yeah. you, you did it. You did. Uh, I apologize. Sorry. I forgot. Ken won the auction, but it was Ken in his action. <laughs> Sorry, my bad, my bad. No worries. I thought I was just missing something. So I'll, I'll um, build. Uh, I'll expand red. All right. And so okay. I'll go. Um, oh, that's like all the money I'm getting. So thank you. That's helpful. I'll go Forest Altoona Mountain. Heading there, more. there, here. Okay, so it'll be two, four, seven. Okay, seven for red. So a moment. Three of them built. Forest. So two bucks back. Altoona gets a plus one, and the mountain gets you a plus one. So that'll be two. For red. Done. Ken. Uh, we'll explain blue. I support this. So, well, you, I don't know if you noticed, but you and I are uh, partners in both, uh, both companies. I, 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 I happen to um, yeah. not, 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 yes. I, not, yes you happen I to not, not notice it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so we'll go coming out of Clarksburg at, at, 10 o'clock, three straight tiles, through the mountain, through wheeling, and then in that uh, plains tile. Right there. All right. So we're looking at three, six. That'll be seven for blue. Yeah. Okay. So seven. We'll make it 12. Get five back. Three for blue. All right. So while we're at it, we're going to go one there. Uh, going into wheeling, and then you said right there. So it's yeah. going to be one for blue for that. And then I want to make sure that I get this right, that when you expand uh, into a um, 
a uh, industrial hex, it's the current value. It is. I just wanted to make yeah. sure. Which that currently is at three. So we're going to go one, two, and three. I support this. All right. So now. Hmm. Where I'm at eight. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think I will go ahead and put up for auction a blue share. And I think I will put it up for four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Yeah, 14 sounds good. It's yours. Well, it's yours. Yep. <laughs> so. 14 and 1 there. Okay. So that was there. Done. And Andrew, you're up. And I apologize. I'm following along with chat a little bit, but we're actions going pretty quick, so I'm not responding to a lot, but I am seeing it. I'm going to auction, uh, I'm just deciding which one. And that'll be the last auction of this round. So I'll auction for the blue one. All right, for eight. The, the last one for yeah, eight. I wanted to to roam that when you said that, Edward, but I didn't want to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> he has the only auction left, and he has only share of yellow that's out. Oh, that's yeah. a fair point. Uh, that's a fair point. I missed that. Yep. You're right, you're right, you're right. All right, so uh, current bid is eight. Oh, I guess it's yours. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be worth eight by the end. Yeah, I reckon so. Hopefully, yeah. All right, so hold on. Five, ten. Just to make it a little neater. There we go. I gave you your sh No, I did not. All right, there we go. All right, I'll expand with Red, uh, Pittsburgh, Forest, and Youngstown. Okay. So I have my board next to me so I can see. I, I, I appreciate that. So you said Pittsburgh, which is yeah. going to be four, Forest, South or North? Yeah. Sorry? South. Okay, six and eight total for that. So that'll be a... Uh, Okay, and increase, that'll be uh, whatever Pittsburgh's at. Pittsburgh's currently at four. four. And then two bucks back to the coffers, so that'll be a, uh, uh, shoot. Um, there we go, all right. There, and then it's going to be an increase of one and four, so a total of five. We got we two go. bucks Replacing, or would I need to take the develop action? Oh, you know what? You are totally right, and I did that somewhere else. Where did I do that? You're a hundred percent right. So let me give you. I mean, I might need those two bucks. I'm going to regret pointing that out. No, you're right, Wait. and I did that one other place. You're right. Where did I do that? I think, I think I did it for blue. I didn't do it. Yes, that is true. I did. All right, cool, fixed. All right, good. And who was that? Ariel? That was Ariel. Okay, Ken. And we moved we moved the, the lay track tile or the dial for that one. Yes. Yes. Okay. So there's three left. Yes. There are. Okay.
Was it blue? Or I was will it? actually. I'll go ahead and develop green. You know what? Put it, put hold on, one, hold on, on one second. Okay. I apologize. No, I lied. It wasn't blue. It was red that I did it to earlier. So red owes another two bucks. I apologize because it was That's for that okay. one right there. All right. Take, take all the money out of red that you want. If you want to take a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Sorry, uh, Ken. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna develop. I'll develop in Albany. All right, developing in Albany up here. All right, so we have our first up there. It's free to do so. So we have that, and that's going to bump the value of green two. Excellent. And I actually do that there. There we go. All right. Um. Oh, that's probably a smart idea, Gusarino. So I will try not to bump. So there you go. It's my turn. Use that. Right, majority shareholder, get that blue to Chicago. If I'm going to lose out. I at least want to lose out first. Yeah. One, two, three. So let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be three actions no matter what. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I might as well hit Columbus, I suppose, right? Um. We will, uh, do we? It does help me more than it helps you, I guess. So yeah, all right. So we yeah. will go ahead and expand. We'll expand uh, blue and we'll go ahead and move it into Columbus and we'll take the Northern route. So one, two, and three there. That'd be a total of three bucks and it will boost blue one. So blue is up to 15 and three bucks. Two back and one, two, and three. Done. Andrew. All right. I am also going to expand uh, some track. So I'm going to build out a CNO along the bottom again uh, through Lynchburg into Roanoke. All right. So that'll be one, two, four for a bump of two. So a bump of two, four bucks, leaving six. And one, two, and three. Done. And how much did that increase the share price? Uh, I bumped it to two. Two. Yeah, I did. Yep, I did. Um, and then remind me, I'm sorry, I played this game like half a dozen times, and I, but I, I always forget. What happens when I, if I wanted to develop Pittsburgh, it just bumps? Bump yeah, um, uh, so Pittsburgh will move from four to six, and then any company that is already in Pittsburgh will make, uh, will gain the difference in that. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, uh, I'm at 15. Need two more dollars. No, I'll um, I'll keep expanding. Red. So where do I want to go? I'm in Youngstown. I'll go um, southwest, northwest, northwest. So going one, two, three. Okay. Now keep in mind, I'm not saying you have to do this, but remember. You also could, you know, branch out to other places. I'm just I not could, saying you should. Sure. Just <laughs> pointing that out. There. So two. That'll be another three. So you said southwest. Uh, sorry. Southwest, northwest, northwest. Like so. Okay. Uh, Ken? Ken? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, dividends. Time. Dividends. dividends. All right. So uh, we'll start with red. Red has three shares out. It's at 15, so that's $5 a share. So that'd be 10 and 5, respectively. There. Blue has a total of four shares out. Four divided by 15. That'd be, uh, what is that? Four. Four. Four each. Uh, four a share. So that's eight and five and 
five. So ten five five after taking change from everybody. All right. Uh, green has a total of two shares out at six bucks a piece. So six and six. And yeller, one share still. That's right. And nine bucks. That's, that's brutal, man. That is. That's gross. Who let that happen? Say that uh, may bad. actually be ballgame. Wow, <laughs> 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 oh, that's gross. Um, all right, that's so we bad. reset the dials. Uh, Detroit, Rock City moves up one, and we start on Ken. Trying to figure out if there's any way to actually block red from Chicago, but I think they have enough money they can get there anyway. So I'll leave the Chicago stuff to you, Edward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Red's going to make it on their own. Uh, they're going to beat us if you don't work with me. No, they're not. You got it. I, I feel confident in you. It's not going to happen. I guarantee you. Well, if you, if you don't build it this time, it won't. But if you do build it, it will. Since you're the majority <laughs> shareholder, I, 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 uh, so, so I you're saying if I, I take the first you. leg, you'll take the second leg. Uh, if you take the first leg, I think we'll get there. You might have to take the second leg too, though. <laughs> wow. This is some real negotiation going on here. Wow. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to expand with the, uh, with the NYC. All right. So green is going to expand. So a moment. All right. So what we got? So we'll go out of Albany to the uh, to Utica position, then up into Utica, and then back down. Yeah. Cheapest, so cheapest route through. Two, three, and four, correct? That's the stuff. And that's a bump of one. So it's a bump of one and four bucks. And that was a expand. Uh, I hate you so much. All right, fine. Why? You can right. do it. What else are you doing with your action? Um, I guess we're going into Fort Wayne. All right, so it's going to be a total of three bucks, no matter how I skin it, provided I put three out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, so... So we'll go one... Two, at least make it more expensive. And uh, you know what? Let's go see a Notre Dame game. Three. And that'll be a bump of one for blue. Mm -hmm. Andrew? Um. Who said this game didn't have nukes? I love how the callbacks, I, 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 I will say, <laughs> and by love, I mean, but yeah. You're I've infamous, managed, I, I pretty much managed to nuke myself in this game for anybody who's actually paying attention to the uh, dollars. <laughs> but, uh. Uh, do I have four reds? That you do. That? Okay, I'm just making sure. You have a total of 24 quid, sir. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna call an auction. Okay. Uh, for green. And this is the third share. It's at twelve, so minimum bids four. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just bid eighteen. Well, I think that's probably going to get it done, it looks like. All right, 18, so that'd be 18. Yep. So. And there. Did I? Shoot. 
They did. There you go. Yeah, we'll just do it that way. That's fine. Um, there, and you are well diversed, sir. All right. Ariel. And yeah, for anybody watching the Duck Game, feel free to give updates since I'm missing it. Oh, it's killing me. I want to make you guys auction off a of yellow, but I'm afraid it won't happen, and that that'd be a disaster. So I'll I'll auction a yellow. I'm gonna bid. Um, which money do I have? Seventeen. Uh, correct. Fourteen. Well, I guess it's a, some some comfort to me that at least Andrew's not getting a second share of this company. That's true. It's yours for fourteen. And we move that. Yep, Ken. Oh boy. Mm. Thanks, Sean. All the blue and all the green are gone. Yep. Ah. Uh, no, there are still two green shirts. Oh, there's, yeah, sorry. All the blue and all the red are gone. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Say. While you do that, I'm just going to do a little uh, housekeeping over here while you're yeah. deciding. I'll, uh... Good enough. That just seems crazy. Why would I do that? I'll expand green. Okay. We'll go uh, through Syracuse over to the tile next to Buffalo. All right, right there. Cheapest, cheapest possible route. All right, so it'd be a total of four bucks. So one. So four bucks and a bump of one for green. I think I'm okay with that, actually. Yeah. I will actually expand it. So, it's going to be a total of six bucks out of the company coffers to hit Chicago and South Band. So, that'll be six. So, that's a bump of one. And a bump of seven for a total of bump of eight. Eight gets it to 24. Now, in addition to that, because um, we hit Chicago, let me just make sure, uh, we're going to pay a dividend for the company that made it, it, that just went into Chicago. Not the first company, but any company that makes it into Chicago. So, uh, dividend for Blue. Blue has three shares. Blue is currently at 24. Divide that by three, that'll be four shares. Four shares, sorry. That'll be six bucks a piece. So it'll be six up north, six here. That is a total of 20. So hold on. Five, 10. Yeah. I took five too much there. And that'll be 12, 15, and 20. There we go. All right, so dividends are paid for blue, and then because it's the first expansion into Chicago, the Wabash is now on the board. So Wabash starts at one there, and the Wabash 
is up for auction and uh, minimum bids a buck, huh? So, <coughs> I think I think I can go five. Hmm. Oh, and that was my action, by the way. Okay. So current bid is five. Yeah, I'm thinking. Um... Yeah, uh, while you're thinking, Tony, um, the Wabash only opens when a company reaches Chicago, and then it opens in Fort Wayne. So there you go, to be clear. I'll say eight. Okay. Ariel's passing because he has three bucks. Ken? Well, eight is not enough money to get to Chicago, so I'm going to pass. Um... To get to Chicago, it would be one, two. No, it would be two, four, ten. You're right. You're right. Two, four, and then so it would be ten. Correct. And ten would get you eight. Hmm. Would you bid? Eight. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to let you have it for eight. I'm not sure I wanted that for eight. <laughs> so, uh, so that... Uh, a moment five and so there's eight and two back to you leaving you with four and Andrew it is now your turn yes um, by the way that's a great idea that way especially when dividends phase happens yeah. and all that yeah that's actually a really great idea good call Goose Arena Oh, wait, I have all this room. Hold on. I I can spread these out a little bit for everybody. But continue. Don't don't wait on me. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm going to expand track. I'm just trying to decide if I should do black or yellow. Definitely yellow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want other people to invest in black, but uh, that's a risk. Well, there's only one person that can invest in black. Hmm. Why is there only one person who can invest? There's only one share left. Oh, yeah. It's semantics, I know. Details. <sighs> oh, man. I could bump it up to, well, it still wouldn't matter. All right, we'll, we'll, we're going to increase, we're going to expand yellow, I think. I think All right, so here. expanding okay. yellow, a moment, give me just one hair of a second. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go through the mountains, uh, through Charleston. All right, so, uh, Charleston West, by God, right here? Yeah. So one, two, anything else? Uh, yeah, one more into the mountains. Uh, okay, so, so one, two, and then one more. Uh, uh, sorry, going south, uh, southwest. Right there. Yeah. All right, got it. So that'll be a total of, uh, let's see, this. So that'll be three, six, nine, and that'll be a bump of one, two, three, four. So in nine box. Oh God, that's gross. There, and that'll be a uh, one, two, three, four to 13. There we go. And that was yellow. Uh, I'll expand red, northwest, southwest, southwest. Just All right. 
Wait, northwest, southwest, southwest? Yeah. Okay. All right, so, well, let's go and get this ready. All right, so it's going to be a total of three there. So let's see. Northwest, that's going to be one. That's going to be one. And then that is going to be one per train that is in Fort Wayne for a total of three. So that'll be a total of five there and a bump of one. So five bucks and a bump of one for red. Ken? Surprised by the lack of development, I will say this. Uh, I'm thinking about development. I feel like I should let Edward do his own dirty work with the auction. Here we go again with this. I mean, you know. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'll expand green. Okay. So go through Buffalo. So up north, a moment. Uh, that'd be, yeah. I think, that one? No, nah, it's probably that one. Yep, too far. Yep, there we go. All right, so up through Buffalo and... And then coming out at 8 o'clock into the plane space. Uh-huh. And then straight south into that... Uh, the woodlands? Forest hex. Yep. Okay. So we're looking at 2, 3, 5 right there for... Uh, so yep. total of 5. And that'll be a bump of 3 in Buffalo. 3, nothing, and nothing for the forest. But total of 3 bumps for green. 16. All right, so I'm up. Um, boy, I think, that, take, I think that, uh, that that also um, that puts us in the red line with uh, with the develop action, right? Didn't wasn't I? Wasn't uh, I uh, sorry with the expand. Spot. You're right. It yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which then means I'm going to auction. Could and, develop. Good. I could. I could. Neely was looking a little underdeveloped, you know. Uh-huh. Just uh -huh. saying. Uh-huh. There are options. Uh-huh. I could. <laughs> Sounds very convinced. <laughs> um, I... So red and blue are out. Green currently has two shares out, three shares out. Uh, that'd be, it's six bucks a share. One, two, no, wait, one, two, three, four, four dollars a share there. If I do yellow, that's four dollars a share. Yeah, we'll do yellow. Uh, so let's see, that's the third yellow. So minimum bid is five. Um... I'll go five. Pass. Ariel's passing as well. I think it's worth six. I'll go six. Seven. Eight. Ten. Hmm. I'm just saying, touchdown ducks. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. How many rounds do we have left? Yep, How and there's more, the rub, right? How many more dividends are we going to get paid? Ah. Uh, I'll go 11. Is it worth 12? I think 12's the cutoff. Because that's going to get me four bucks right now. Where do we have? We have that. 
Say again. I'll get you five. Three at 13. Yeah, okay, you're right. One for sure. Two. I'll go 12. Pretty sure I shouldn't keep bidding here. It's tricky, though. It, uh, yes, Alyssa, to answer your question. Asked if uh, Black counts as one of the companies uh, for the endgame trigger. The answer is yeah, yes. Absolutely does. Yep, it's one of the five. I will, I will pass. All right, I'm actually happy with that at twelve. So uh, I was hoping that go higher. That's eighteen. Uh, I'm sorry, twelve. Yeah, I think what, what you needed, Andrew, was for Edward to bid against himself up to about eighteen there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, hold on. I get eight back, and it gets two. There you go. That's what we're looking at. There it is. All right. And now, dividends. All right. So, here we go. Blue. Blue has three, sh four shares out. Six, six bucks a share. So, 12, six, and six. I'll probably clean this up when we're all said and done. Um, and then we'll go green. Green has one, two, three shares out at 16. So that's six bucks a piece. Six, six, and six. And then red has three shares out at six bucks a piece. So 12, make that 15. And six up north there. And then yellow has three shares at five bucks a piece. You get five, you get five, you get five. And did I miss it? I got red. No, we're good. And uh, black, I don't want to short you. There we go. Appreciate it. Yep, no worries. All right, so a moment here. So that is, uh, what do we have? We have, there's 25... There's 30, so five back and there. Uh, there, there, there. Detroit moves up one, and now we're looking at 10, 15, 25. There, and we'll go there. That's a little bit easier. I think the 20 works, and we got a lot. A moment. Uh, so we're looking at uh, 20, call it 25. There's 10, so 28 total. There we go. All right, so Andrew, everything's reset. We hit Detroit. We're rocking and rolling. There we go. Hmm. Oh man, how long, how much longer is this game going on? Uh, hmm. Pretty sure I know the answer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And chip? No, gray chips are 20 in 18xx. Green chips are always 25s. Especially in poker, but yeah. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to expand track for black. Okay. So, over there in Fort Wayne. 
What we got? You got eight bucks to your name, sir. I do. I think we're going to build... Yeah, we're going to go north, northeast, northeast towards Toledo. Okay. Into Toledo we go. So that's going to be a total of four bucks. So now coming over this way. One, two, three. And Toledo, uh, so that will be uh, three bucks, right? I said, right? Four bucks, sorry. Four. And whoop, done. Ariel. Uh, Red's going to expand into Chicago. Walker. All right. Red's going out. So that is going to be a total of, let's see, what do we got? We got one, two, six for a total of eight bucks. So eight. Uh, call it 13. Get a nickel back. That's going to be a bump of seven. I assumed you were going this way, so. Yeah. All right, so red gets a bump of seven to 23. And uh, then red gets dividends. So at 23 divided by three, that's going to be eight bucks a piece. So that'll be 16. And looks like eight up there. Call it. There we go. Uh, and that, that was another nice. expansion. No, uh, that was the yes. second one right there. Yeah. Done. Ken. Terrible news for the good guys, that last play. Yeah, I wasn't super thrilled with it. Um... There's really, there's no, there's no good move for me. <laughs> uh, but I think the least bad move available to me is expanding green into Pittsburgh. So let's do that. All right. Green into, oh, Pittsburgh down south. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I think it's that one. Let's see. There we go. All right. So we're going four through the heavily wooded area yep. and then 12. Eight. So four and then eight. Yeah. So that'd be I'll twelve. Put, uh, spend one more dollar on the uh, the cheap forest tax next to Cleveland. Right there. Just in case. All right. That'd be. I, I get to use that. Thirteen seven back. So that's another expansion. So I don't forget that. And that's going to be three choo choos. So the cheap forest, the big forest, and then the bump in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's currently at four. Green will get a bump of four. I support this. And here, I am pretty sure that's what we're doing. Yeah, I, I, I just can't see a reason not to do that. I think so. So we're going to expand and use the last three for blue. And that's going to go up to Detroit Rock City. And so that'll be... Is it, is it at four right now? Uh, yeah, Detroit is currently at four, correct? So one, two, three, four. And every time... Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four. Every time we hit a dividend, um, it will move up one. And all the money, it doesn't matter. Yep. Wabash was at two. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Pittsburgh's at four. Yep. Uh, Wheeling yep. still at four, and Detroit's yeah. at four. So we're good. All right, there we go. All right, and I'm taking all the money because the B and O's done. It's done. All right, Andrew. All right. Well, you made it more expensive, but we're still yep, at well, black. <laughs> I figure I wasn't an investor, so I could have made it a, a dollar cheaper, but why? <laughs> why? <laughs> so you're going up to Detroit, I assume? Yeah. All right. So yeah. it's going to be a total of two and four dollars, which that's four bucks. It wasn't quite glory to Rome worthy, but it was a little aggravating, Edward. I'll say that. Yeah, I know, I know. 
And that'll go up to six. Done. Okay. Ariel. I'm going to auction a green five bucks. Uh, okay, auction green for five bucks. And no, the forest bumps are only when they're developed. Keep that in mind, because I, I messed that up earlier. Um, so this is an auction, okay, for five? Yeah, I think that's the minimum, because there's four shares. Uh, one, two, three, four, yes, correct. Um, well, I'm confident it'll be worth six, so I'll, I'll, go, I'll go six. Eight. Hmm. Didn't want you left out, Ariel. I appreciate that. I was. <laughs> I'll say nine. Confidently, I want to point out. <laughs> he said nine confidently. Pays out twice. Be worth 10 at least. I'm going to pass. Pass. OK, so I know we're going to have at least one dividend which means we're going to have at least two dividends. I'll go 10. You can have it. It may have been a mistake. I realize as soon as I open my mouth. <laughs> All right, so that was dividends there, and Ken. I don't see why I would not end the game. Just don't see why. Oh, yeah, an auction. Uh, well, it doesn't end the game. Well, it just ended after this dividend phase, though. Fact. So the question is, which way do I want to end it? With green or with black? Or black, right. Yeah. Yeah, I totally, I, I'll be honest, I totally missed that. Yeah. I was looking at trains. Yep, I screwed up. So that may have cost me the game, possibly. I don't know. Huh. Ah, give the 10 to green. Thank you. I don't think it matters, but yes, good call. Oh, well, now that I can see green's better capitalized, I should definitely go green. <laughs> <laughs> no, Martha, Martha's right, though. Totally, she totally. She is, so. she is, yeah. And um, I do care, Goose Arena. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put black up for three. Good luck making it worth more than that, fellas. Pass. Pass. I'll pass. <laughs> uh, all right, so three. All right, so that will trigger the end of the game at the next dividends phase, after we have paid out. Huh, okay, well. Um. All right, we're gonna expand green. I think that's my best bet here, I think. So. Um, oh, yeah, because there's, there's no more blue trains, right? Uh, there are not. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice, Sean. All right. So we're going to expect uh, expand into Cleveland Rocks. So that's one. Money's not an issue here. So there's one. Uh, Get into those mountain hexes next to Pittsburgh, maybe? Um. Oh, I guess you can't because you can only have one of the mountain hexes. Correct. So I'm blocked off there. It can come down yeah. this way, right? 
Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and there we go. It's a little bit better. So the other thing I was thinking about is uh, we could make it over here to Youngstown. Um, right. I guess it's a boost of one either way. There or there, oh, yeah. it really doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Or, or to be honest, we could we could actually just not worry about it and go over here to Binghamton, um, which got hammered with almost four feet of snow. Uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you're trying to max it, there's that one that's uh oh never mind. I thought it was plus two, but it's plus one. Yeah, I I really don't think it matters. Yeah, so I don't think there's a way you'd get another one. No, so let's go ahead and head over to Youngston, Youngstown, though. So, and again, the money doesn't matter. So we will go, we'll go Forest, and we'll go in there. So that's going to be a, a boost of one, a boost of three total. One, two, and three. Done. And all the money's done. Eh, yeah, it is, because it can't expand anymore, so it doesn't matter. All right, uh, Andrew. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should end it or uh, I'll get a buck if I develop Toledo. So we'll do that. All right, I'm gonna develop and Toledo somewhere towards the middle. It's uh, yeah, the black. It's the one. I'm the only. Ah, there you go. Yep. Yeah. So, so you're welcome, hey, Ken. <laughs> I'm in the black for my Wabash investment. Good times. And Ariel. Sorry, I was on mute. I'll, I'll develop it in one of the mountain hexes. Uh, okay. Uh, for red, I assume. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Um, so say like this one. There, so that'd be a plus two for red. And, oh, sorry, that was developed. There we go. Ken. Huh. I'll auction a yellow. All right. Minimum bid on yellow. This is the fourth yellow for uh, four bucks. Minimum bid. That sounds good. Pass. 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 And that'll do that. So dividends. Here we go. All right, blue has a total of four shares, uh, 28, that's seven bucks a piece. Seven, that's 15, that'd be 20 over here. There. Uh, so two, another blue, so what did I say? I'm sorry, seven there. And blue up there is seven there. All right, done. Red. Is it 25? Red has three, so that's going to be eight, nine dollars a piece. So nine, that is 18. And a 10 up there. Okay. Then we have green. Green has a total of four shares. There's one left here. So four shares, uh, six bucks a piece at 23. So green six, that'd be 12. And six and six, six and six. And then yellow is at three shares at $5 a piece. Oops. Now yellow is four shares at four. I apologize, thank you. $4 at four. So take a buck back, take a buck back buck back and a buck back all right and finally black is at seven at two shares that'll be uh, uh four bucks a piece 
and a buck back. I feel like you're uh, you're looking down on our on our wabash there, Edward. No, no, no. I I literally sports, was sports, brain sports cramping. For me. I totally brain cramped. So here we go. <laughs> uh, so bottom bottom top because they're closer. Uh, 55, 61. Uh, Not 61. 35, 45, 46. It's actually not as far behind as I thought. Uh, let's see. 35, 40, 50, 5, 58. And I think your winner. Uh, what is that? 35, 40, 50, 65, 71, right? Um, 35, 45, 50, 60. Say, oh, wait, 60 cents. Oh, God. 25, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 6. What did I have? 61. 61. Yeah. There you go. Andrew, 66. Me, 61. Uh, Ariel, less than 61. And Ken, thank you for playing. Thanks for playing. All right. Nice. Oregon just scored, too, up 14 nothing. Woohoo! All right. So, um... Wabash Cannibal, i.e. Chicago Express. Now, I do know that there is, a, like, none of us just didn't take an action, which we are free to do. And I know the more experience you get with the game, the deeper it gets, the more strategic and, and, and everything that that, uh, that that becomes. But uh, Ariel, uh, or I, I don't, actually, any of you guys, who wants to chime in on this? Yeah, I'm one? happy to go first. I mean... I think this game is is a masterpiece. It's it's simple. You can teach it to non gamers. It's fun just at the basic level, but there's so much depth and the the degree that you can explore the way shared incentives work. And there's there's themes that play out similarly. Like you know, Red always wants to race across, but they may run out of money. They may run out of trains, and other people can divert them. So themes stay the same, but the way the game plays out can vary wildly, and it's very dependent on. You know, the way groups play with each other, that changes the way incentives work. There's just so much depth to this game with such a simple rule set, and it plays in, like, an hour, 45 right. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we, we play this sometimes after an 18xx in an evening, if we still are sort of hankering for trains, and it's just always a great time. I, this game is terrific. Yeah, so an awesome example of that. So so the, the point of this game where I, I sort of knew I had lost is when I put up red for 14, the last red share for 14 bucks. And my thinking was, if we're three way in red, it'll be easy for us to race over and get, get Chicago. Ariel bought the red share. So now he's like the, the majority owner in red, but all of a sudden Andrew didn't want to help him get across anymore. And so like it screwed me and it also kind of screwed Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally on both parts. I couldn't catch him. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's it's fascinating the uh, temporary and emergent um, partnerships that that the shared incentives uh, foster, and uh, those can be very 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 short lived, or they could be for the your entirety of the game. And one decision made by somebody not even related to the people that have the shared incentives can throw a wrench into that and it changes every single time you play even though that the the like there's no variable setup there's no anything like that it, it very much is a this is how it is but the game varies wildly um like you said either by the player makeup or just by different decision making because there's there's no randomness as well fascinating design fascinating design and it's funny when I was earlier on in playing, when I very first played this game, I was like, I don't get it. Like, it seems stupid, like, whatever. The more experience I get with gaming, the more I appreciate the, the, just the masterpiece that this is. I think that's interesting. The other amazing thing about this game is we played it in an hour. Yeah. 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 I saw someone, uh, I forget where it was, someone said they could write a dissertation about this game. Which I, you know, I'm not smart enough at math to do that, but I, I totally believe that somebody out there could do that. Yeah, this game's great. Like, there's so many little moments that you, and some you, you only really realize it sometimes, like literally right after you take the move. But like, like that moment where you, where 
Ariel got the second red share was huge because because it up till then it was like oh Ariel and I will like work towards getting red out west and at that moment I was just like I don't care about red anymore yeah be like that's red, all Ariel's problem <laughs> <laughs> like, I will live off the largesse from red and like work on something else but like also the tightness of that like it's such a simple thing but like the little the gauge stuff and like the limited number of actions per round for each thing like timing that is so huge because there was that moment where Edward picked the auction to share one and then there was only one auction share left and I took it and that was the last one for that round. And so that kept made sure that I was the only one with yellow shares for that dividend. Which yeah, was, and was I, I totally overlooked that. It, there, that's not something to be overlooked, right? That uh, Right. Uh, and it was something I didn't even think about, but as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, awesome. <laughs> and on that note, um, this is where like wasting in action comes in, right? Like, oh, I don't want to buy the poison pill. I don't want to actually buy that 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 share or anything. Eh, I'm just gonna move the dial or something along the lines of that. Or you know what? There's nothing that expands that helps me. It only helps you. Nope, nobody's gonna get it. Sorry, that's gone. You know that type yeah. thing. Yeah, and the, I think one of the things I really love about the game is like the number of uh, expand actions and the number of companies is always, it's like they're like relatively prime for the whole game until Wabash comes in. So there's no way for every company to take the same number of expand actions on a given like uh, round. I think that like, that's a like a little tiny touch that is, that like really is like drives the game in an interesting way. Like so you kind of know, you can't, you can't get an even number of, of expands. Sorry, can I keep talking over you, but I, oh, yeah. was, I like that the, um, you know, the, the shared incentives are not just determined based on shares like you'd think, but like the turn order matters tremendously. So you could be, you know, one space away in turn order and have the same shares you would have had. And, and what you want to do is totally different based on how many actions are left and who's after you. And, you know, so the depth there is, is fascinating. Yeah, it's as deep as you wanted to make it, right? Yeah. To where you could you could totally do this as a as a as a family weight game and you know, play it off the cuff and, and no big deal and and then take it to, you know, that, that next level or, 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 or even further deeper than that. So, yeah. yeah um, this, this is a, a prime example of a game where, like, if you get a group together that play it over and over and over again, it just reveals new stuff to you. Like, it, it's, I have not played it that much. Like, I've only played it, I think, twice before this. And I, it's, but it, each time I played, I've been like, oh, I should like sit down with this game and like just play a bunch because there's just so much to it. And you could do that because it plays so quick, right? I mean, yeah. outside of yeah. Age of Steam, I would argue this is kind of the granddaddy of the Winsomes. Like this is like the 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 Hall of Fame Winsome. This and Age of Steam, off the top of my head, at least. So, all right. Anything else, fellas? No, it's always good getting my butt kicked by you guys. That was that was good times. Yeah, hey, and 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 there goes Ariel's winning streak. Yeah, at one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever gotten higher than one on my winning streak. So, but uh, no, th this was this was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to do this. Next week we're gonna have a, a couple of these. Um, I, I think we're trying to do next Wednesday and maybe next Saturday around Christmas. So keep that in mind for everybody out there watching. Definitely appreciate uh, these fellas over here taking the time to do this. It's nice that we're not keeping Ariel up until he can't keep his eyes open. Um, and maybe that's the key for him winning because he crushed us last time. Yeah, but uh, that zone, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks. Uh, thanks to everybody watching. Definitely enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun. Um, Chicago Express, uh, Wabash Cannonball, uh, originally from Winsome, but good luck trying to find a copy of that. But Chicago Express from Queen Games, um, readily available uh, from them. So if you guys enjoyed it, like, subscribe, support the show over on pledgehc.com. And with that, I'm Edward. Anybody? Andrew? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm off to go watch the Oregon uh, Ducks beat the Trojans for the Pac-12 championship. Everybody, uh, be kind to one another. Social distance, wear your masks. I will see you all Monday for the weekly look ahead. Thanks, everybody. You all have a wonderful night. Take care, everybody. <laughs> that was a lot of fun.
Good stuff, oh, yes. guys. Good stuff. Yeah. And I like how you immediately knew you were done. <laughs> <And> <laughs>